morning YouTube, good morning. I need some fuel, hang on. It is May 23rd, 6.50 in the morning. I've been away for a really long time. Um, just to get you guys up to date. Uh, last, well, the beginning of this year I was married. Last year we bought a house. And uh, it's true what they say. Uh, you have no time to do anything. So this year I haven't even been fishing once. Last time I ran my dogs, uh, it's May 23rd, 2015. Last time I ran my dogs was uh, November of last year. Um, and I haven't even moved them up to my new house. They're still in my parents' house. Um, so my wife, now I can say, uh, she's going away for the weekend with some of our girlfriends uh, to New Jersey Shore. And uh, I was able to break away from doing housework for this week. So what, um, what I'm gonna, what we're gonna start doing on my hunter property in Sullivan County in New York is we're gonna uh, make a food plot. And I'm gonna take uh, take you along the journey of making it. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about it. I'm in New York. I'm in the Catskills, and. Um, it's going to be in 3H zone of the Catskills. Um, we do have a tractor, we do have a tiller for the tractor. Uh, so we do have some heavy machinery, but I'm going to try to do my best to take you along every step of making the food plot uh, from today, from breaking ground, which we've never made a food plot before. Ever, 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 ever. I've never made a food plot. I'll tell you what I have done in a minute. Um, I'm going to take you along breaking ground. Uh, the soil sample should be coming in the mail today. I'm going to send it out uh, today and um, take it along the whole thing, adding lime or uh, whatever. Well, I, don't, I have no idea. I, don't, I have no idea. Um, to seeding, to growing, to hopefully, uh, you know, taking a deer off. Hopefully you can hear me. It's a little windy out right now. Um, we're up with 3H Sullivan County in uh, New York, in the Catskills, and um, this is going to be my first food plot. And what I did just now was uh, stake it out. I staked out one one acre. Um, the food plot is going to be in, the, in an existing field with just some just regular grass. You know, nothing really special to get them out here. Um, so what I, what I measured was, I'll show you in a minute, um, 21 yards wide by 118 yards long. Um, that equates to about one acre. So um, we're going to be tilling it all up and um, getting it over. I'll show you one spot where we tilled last week before I started making the movie. Um, and I'll show you some of the equipment that we have here. So here's the big, uh, the big expenses right here. We got a Kubota L3200 with the um, tiller in the back. This is the field that we're doing the food plot in. So it's going to be starting back over there. If anybody watched my bow hunting videos, um, that's where I bow hunt. And it's going to come right up this line right here, 118 yards. Then we're going to come across to that stake, which is uh, 21 yards. And back down. It's going to be rectangular. Um, a couple years ago, we planted 23 apple trees. Uh, they all took. Um, so this should be a nice little restaurant for them to come in in the future. So this right here is one pass with the tractor that we did last week, just to get it started. Um, which is I don't even think it's an eighth of an acre. Uh, I figure we'll do a whole acre, like because it's easier to measure. Um, you know when we have to add lime and seed and fertilizer and all that because everything is based on acre I don't want to do any math it took me long enough to figure out how you know to make an acre out of this So this really turned it over nice. Uh, I got some new shoots coming out, but this broke up the dirt really good um, So I'm gonna go over the expenses with you for this also just to kind of get a ballpark for, for how much everything is gonna cost me That's my gun stand and uh, where's my bow stand? My bow tree is right over there. Is that it? 
I don't even know. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's my bow tree. That's where I shot that doe a couple of years ago. I got on video. Um, so we're hoping the reason why we want the plot here is because it's close to this brush line here. All back in there is all pines and uh, it gets pretty thick. So they're probably bedding in there. And um, if we keep it closer to the edge, we figure it'll get a little bit more action because they don't have to step all the way out. Um, if anybody ha you know has a question about why I'm not making it square, it's because I don't want the neighbors to see the food plot. And if it works like they say it do, I don't want the neighbors to see all the, the deer on my property. So I'm going to keep it close to um, close to the edge. It gets plenty of sun. Uh, it's not getting it at the moment, but it, it is. It's still early. It's only 7:30 in the, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, so that's why we're making a rectangular on the wall. Uh, my dad's stand is right there, and we're gonna get to work. I'm gonna start tilling. Just got done turning it over. Uh, put some pretty good work in on this uh, machine here. Uh, so we're 118 yards long by 21 yards wide, and that comes out to uh, an acre, give or take a few. Uh, turned over pretty good. There wasn't too many rocks in it, and um, I don't know. This is my first fruit plot, so I don't even know. I know I'm going to take the, uh, I was about to say stool sample, um, soil sample, and uh, send it off to Whitetail Institute, see what they recommend me adding. So, this is just a small area that we did last week. And uh, we went all the way up. You can see the line there. All the way up that way, we squared it off, made it nice and square. Uh, the soil looks pretty good. According to uh, the food plot expert Don Mealy, which I would love to know personally, just for this reason, he seems like a nice guy. Um, his advice was that it was okay that uh, whatever grass got turned over, as long as I turn it over again, um, just go go again with the tiller, just shallow, cover it all up. Um, so it's nice and soft, the dirt too. It's not really, you know, it's nice. Well, I guess it's nice. I don't know. And that's it. I'll grab the soil sample next. Okay, so the final stuff for today is done. Got my sample. What I did was, uh, I don't know, about uh, eight or nine different spots. I just grabbed a handful. Um, about that much filled up a half a bucket when I get home I'll mix it all up and I'll send it out I think all right just got home did what I had to do outside of course the mail didn't come as soon as I take my uh, get undressed the mail comes so this is what it looks like Uh, a return label and that's about it so let me open it up a little bag submittal form okay A mailing envelope. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, the mailing envelope feels a little cheap. And that's it. But here's the bag. Uh, you gotta fill. Uh, this bag is glossy. And you should probably use a ballpoint pen on it. 
so far pretty self-explanatory uh, name and address um, here's the section where uh, check one establishing new field is what I'm doing here's maintaining existing field and um, over here is where you uh, pick what you're gonna plant so I know for sure one of them is tall tine tubers alright all right, so I'm deciding uh, to go with the, the tall tine tubers and the pure traction okay, so here's my sample this is what I got from the field earlier so what, I'm, what I did was uh, I got a box I put a plastic bag in it and I'm gonna dump this into here mix it all up really good pull out some of the vegetation not all of it and uh, put that in the bag so I'll be right back I hope my camera don't fall oh my bucket don't break this is what happens when you leave buckets outside for winters okay so here's go all everything is going in here Mix it up. So what I'm doing is trying to mix it all together because I did get soil from about 10, 10 spots I think. So I'm just trying to make that all nice and, and uniform. Here's what it looks like. Again, I have a lot of uh, grass on there. Uh, looks good. All right. So, I'm going to fill this out with a uh, um, ballpoint pen, and it says fill to this line. So that's what I'm going to do. Almost there. Okay, there it is. It's like Chinese food, you gotta pack it down. I think we're there. All right, so soil sample, paper. This is the uh, envelope. Uh, you gotta put a stamp on there. You gotta put a stamp on there. And also, they want this where, where you select what you're going to be planting they want it inside this bag so we're going to have to fold it up uh, they should make they should design that a little differently um, we're going to fold it up small and uh, I'll stick it in there somehow and I'll there it is okay uh, I'm just not sure if I can put this in the mailbox or not um, it's priority mail it's about a pound. So I'm going to run to the post office one day during work, and uh, I won't trouble you with recording that, but uh, this is it. Uh, they print their, uh, their address on there for you, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, also, <clears throat> before you put the uh, soil collection sheet in there, there's a phone number on the bottom of it. You may want to write that down before you uh, put it away, because it goes inside the soil bag. Um, that's it. I'm going to send it out, and next time you see me, we will be getting the results.